Hello and welcome back to our cozy autumn survival series. The Council of Cats here has summoned us today because they need a much better living situation, which is going to be our goal for today. We are going to be building a cute little cat sanctuary for these guys as our sort of final hurrah in this world. This is going to be the last episode. I'm going to have new series start for winter next week, so definitely check that out. It's going to be kind of similar vibes sort of thing, but I'm so excited to... I think winter building will be a little bit more of a challenge. It'll be interesting, stuff that I haven't really done before, so um, I'm so looking forward to that, but I just wanted to have this go out with a really fun build for these little guys. I'm definitely a cat person, so it's going to be super fun. So for the build itself today, I am actually thinking that this area right here is going to be a good place for it. It's going to be fairly large, but not like ridiculously large. I'm going to do a circular build. I think that's going to be really cool. We haven't done one of those in this world yet. And I'm going to go for a very similar sort of color scheme to this building, which means we're going to need a lot more mangrove wood. We're going to need a lot of spruce wood. We're going to need a lot of oak, dark oak, basically everything <laughs> all over again. And I want to go with these colorful... Uh, this colorful roof pattern again as well and I have not been really sharing our sheep so I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and dye some of those and I'm not sure about our gravel situation for making concrete I'm gonna have to take a look at what we have I don't really think we have very much of that either <laughs> so we've got quite a bit of work here to do before we really get into this so I'm gonna go ahead and start this off as we usually do with a little bit of gathering and I think it's going to start with chopping down our little tree farm here so that we can have room to plant the mangrove trees. All right, so I planted the mangrove trees and a couple of them have actually already grown. I'm gonna let a few more of them grow first and then just chop them all down at once. Um, we might have to do that a couple times because these do not give us a ton of wood, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> It'll be worth it uh, in order to make it kind of match our house and such. And then I also went ahead and planted all of our bamboo just to like basically triple it. I don't know that we're gonna even need that much, but I think for like cat towers and cool structures inside that the cats can like climb, um, I wanna do some scaffolding. So I figured we might as well get a bit more bamboo and who knows, maybe I'll even make it kind of like a green space inside and we can plant some bamboo too, cause I think it's kind of cute. But next thing that I wanna do before actually starting this build is I think I wanna go off and go a mine shaft hunting again. We've done that once before. Hello, sir. <laughs> uh, but we didn't really, it wasn't super lucrative. So I think I'm gonna go off just further in that direction. I'm pretty sure it was just this way, pretty much directly. Um, and see if I can't just like go spend a bit of time, <laughs> like probably a good few hours and try to find as many like mine shafts as I can. I would like to get name tags. I don't know if, I mean, chances of us finding one for, how many do we have now? Three, six, seven, and then plus one inside, eight cats. I mean, we might be able to find eight name tags. At least if we get a few, then if we get a librarian up and running, we don't have to spend so many emeralds getting name tags from them. So that's kind of my general idea. And then I'm also gonna need a bunch of string for all of these scaffolding anyway. String is kind of something that we don't have a ton of. And mine shafts are an easy place to find that. Just kill all the spider webs. So that is what I am going to do next. So let's head off on a little adventure.
and we are back at home now. So, uh, not a, I mean, a fairly fruitful adventure. Managed to find two name tags in total out of all those chests. Um, collected a ton of string. Was still quite fun. Um, but most importantly, we actually got ourselves another cat variant. This one right here with the flat face. I think she is so cute and going to be a great addition. So we now have nine cats. Yeah, nine cats, including the one that's currently indoors um, in our house. But we'll bring the, that cat out to hang out with the other cats as well. We don't want her to be too lonely. <laughs> but other than that, I also did go ahead and get the rest of the name tags from the village. I did film that originally, but the audio didn't record for it. Um, so I'll show you some kind of, I'll explain what we did, <laughs> what I did to get the name tags here. And honestly, it's kind of boring anyway. So it's probably better that it's sped up a little bit. Uh, so essentially I made the librarian villager and just kind of leveled them up by trading a bunch of paper and books and buying some of the stuff from them. Um, so they would sell the name tags to us. And then I needed a whole bunch more emeralds. So I decided the easiest one to do would be a stonemason because we did have quite a bit of cobblestone from our mining adventures already. And that was almost enough to actually buy all... What did, we, what did we need? Seven extra name tags. So I had to make a couple of stonemasons to be able to, you know, sell them back and forth and yada yada. And between that and the paper and like a little bit of farm trading, we managed to get just enough money to buy all of the name tags. So I'll be naming the cats after we set them in at the end of the build. But I am pretty much set up here now to start the build. I've got my little supply chest. Let's take a look at what's in here. So we're going to be using a lot of spruce and some mangrove like we were talking about before dark oak and the colorful uh, roof to match the cabin or the cottage as well um, and i'm really excited about this one i think it's going to look really good it's going to be a circular build i went ahead and mapped out how big it's going to be here just so i could get an idea of the layout and how much i needed to clear it's gonna be our first circular build in this world which i think is going to be fun it's going to be sort of like a tower situation so three, I think, like smaller and smaller circles stacked on top of each other so that it's a nice, big, tall indoor space for the cats because we know that cats love to climb and uh, all that fun stuff. And yeah, I think for the most part, the exterior is going to be a fairly... I mean, I think it's going to be pretty basic as a build. I think the interior is going to be a little bit more fun, but we're obviously going to start with the exterior and I'll go ahead and put up the base of that and then we can take a look.
Okay, let's take a look around this place a little bit. The exterior is done. The cats are still patiently waiting outside because I want to do the interior first before we move them in there just to make sure they're not going to be in the way. But yeah, that is what it looks like. I mean, I guess you saw some shots from the time lapse as well, but now that the path is done and we've got some trees in and stuff, that's kind of where it looks like compared to everything else. Whoops. Those berry bushes are always going to get me. I think it looks so good next to the cottage. It's basically, I mean, it's the same look, right? And I actually think it, uh, I like that kind of cohesiveness here. It looks really good. So I'll just show you around the other sides because I did not film doing these slides, but it all kind of looks quite similar, obviously, to the front, um, just a little bit. I got a planter on the side there, and then those archways are kind of the same um, as they are on every other side. Around the back here is basically the same as the front, except it's just a window. I don't think I'm gonna need two doors for anything, so I figured just one door is fine. And then another planter along this side and you know those archways as per usual. So let's go and take a look at the interior. I did not do the interior yet, <laughs> but we can take a look at what it looks like from the inside. And there it is, it is nice and bright in here. I think, I mean, obviously there's the glass on the ceilings and or the roof bits and tons of windows. Is this a very like structurally sound, make sense kind of place? Absolutely not. But you know what? This is Minecraft and <laughs> I think this looks pretty cool as is. And the reason that I wanted such a tall building is I want to build these cats like a great big indoor tree. I want this place to be sort of like I mean, basically an indoor garden, right? Because cats love being outside uh, with, you know, indoor garden with maybe some kind of sleeping areas and some things to climb on the walls. And yeah, I'm thinking just a great big tree right in the middle that will go up maybe all the way to that second story kind of thing. And I think that's going to look so cool. Again, I've mentioned this before. I've built one other custom tree in this uh, in this Let's Play, and it was a very small one. It's raining outside. Those cats, uh, poor cats. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the other custom tree I made was a very small one. This one is going to be a very large one, and I said it then, I'll say it again. Custom tree is not my specialty, but I'm hoping I can get away with something here anyway that's going to look at least half decent. Hopefully, I don't know, we'll have to we'll have to see what we end up with. But yeah, I don't think any of the actual trees are going to look good enough. I want something that has, you know, some lower branches um, and just kind of like maybe winds it way up a little bit and has some ledges where we can just place a couple of cats in the tree. Um, as well as a couple like on some shelves on the sides and beds in the corners and all of that fun stuff. So the only thing I'm not 100% sure of yet is what I want to do with the floor in here. I think, I mean, I'm obviously going to keep grass around the tree base, but maybe we'll like make a circular thing that's more like an actual grass garden and then a few out from the edges here will be a proper floor sort of thing. I don't know yet. We'll have to, uh, I'll get into it and play around with it a bunch, but... Yeah, I think this is going to be pretty good. So I don't think there's really too much else to touch on here. So I'm just going to go ahead and get right into doing the interior.
the cat house, cat castle, meow meow mansion, whatever you want to call it, is complete. Let's take a little tour inside because we have a whole bunch of cats now. So I even made a few extra cats, you'll see, um, as we go around these cute little kittens. But yeah, this is what it looks like on the inside. We've got our great big tree, which, I mean... I don't know. I mean, it's probably not the best tree you've ever seen, but I think it works quite well in here. Um, just kind of adds quite a bit to it. A nice centerpiece and something for the cats to climb on. Clearly, they're all uh, climbing around. <laughs> we can turn around, run away, and we've got these two new kittens up on the perches here above the door. One over here in the corner. We've got a couple of little toys spread out and about as well in the form of fish, of course. <laughs> got a couple of cat trees over here. Oh, that fish is, uh, I don't know if I can, I don't know if this actually works. I feel like I tried shearing the glowberries over there and they just grew anyway, but we'll see. <laughs> Anyway, we've got some more toys, more cats, um, and we come around this way, more cats, more cat trees, more toys. Um, yeah, I mean, not too big in here or anything like that, but I think this turned out pretty good. So last but not least, let's get to naming these guys. So we'll just kind of start around here and keep going. So I think that this guy looks like a pretty good Bengals, and I think that she would look great in a nice light gray collar. Next up, we have Topaz with a nice blue collar, of course. Now, this one hiding up here, I think would make a perfect Gumbo. And Gumbo definitely needs a pink collar, magenta to be specific. Coming around this way, next up we have Newt. And I don't know, something about this cat kind of screams Newt to me. And I think Newt would look great in orange. Moving right along, we have Osmosis Jones. And I don't know, I think it's the multicolors. Goes with kind of the crazy name. Osmosis Jones it is. And let's give Osmosis Jones a light blue collar. Coming around this way, we have Salem. And Salem is going to stand out with a yellow collar on the black fur. This little guy up here is going to be Olive, which is actually my cat. Doesn't look exactly right, but the markings are kind of similar. And for Olive, we're going to do a purple collar. And of course, we can't forget our original cat here. This one is going to be, if I can get in there properly, <laughs> this one is going to be called Kevin. And Kevin is going to get a pink collar. And last but certainly not least, we have Smokey. Smokey is unfortunately a cat that one of the vu our viewers lost not too long ago and just wanted to play a little bit of a tribute. It's probably not a perfect match, but Smokey's got a nice place up right on top of this tree and he already has a red collar, so I think we'll stick with that just to give him the original look. And that is a wrap for this episode and for this season as well. I hope you all enjoyed. I am also going to be very sad to be leaving this beautiful, beautiful world, but the winter one is going to be super fun. If it snows where you are, maybe you can get some nice cozy reprieve in a more virtual snowy world. And if it doesn't in the winter where you are, then you can join me in a very, very Canadian winter <laughs> up in that series that is going to be starting next week or if you're watching this later it's probably already started and i think if you enjoyed this one you are going to enjoy that one as well so make sure you don't miss it and i will talk to you in the next one